What? Are you kidding me? Look how many spawned. Oh my god. And there's only four of us. Hey everybody, how you guys doing? My name is Craze Jester and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. So we are just getting back to the main city here where I believe on the last episode I stated we are going to make... Uh, what's her name again? Gotta make sure I know it. Ella Tade, no longer a... She's a, pre a protector, excuse me, but we don't want her to have this long sword anymore. I want her to have like a sword and shield. I think she is going to really excel with a sword and shield. So I wanted to come back here and make the Iron Ulfbert, which we had just learned, strength plus five, hell yes. Uh, she better be able to use her, otherwise I'm gonna be very sad. And then also give her a Targe. Uh, hopefully I can build something a little better, but this will do for now. So without further ado, let's start making this. So there's a little, uh, something you have to do here. I'm gonna pay attention really quick. Ah, bonus completed, superior quality item. So I know I stopped talking there for a quick couple minutes, but did you see when I was hitting the uh, the metal pieces, it would glow and as soon as it kind of glinted, there was that gold sheen to it. That's when you want to strike it. And by striking that, if you get enough, then you get these bonuses. So this is a superior quality item, which I guess instead of plus five strength, now gives us plus seven. And we get the slice uh, capacity with it, which deals 80 to 100% strength damage to the target. Pretty awesome. Otherwise, you just get like a standard. It would just be the normal oof bear at plus five strength. So pretty awesome that we just got that. That's great. Love it. Now let's build this Targ. The next thing in the making. Here we go. Damn it. Damn it. See? Ah! We got one. It's gonna be a basic. Superior quality item, really? So I don't know if you need to hit all four or just one to get the superior quality item, but it happens so fast. All right, so we got plus five armor, guard plus 11, then protection capacity. Gains deflection, deflection damage taken for the next round, uh, reduced by 70, or no, excuse me, for the next attack. That's awesome. So I'm really happy with uh, what was just created there. Let's get this equipped on her. Get rid of your double sword. There we go. And, oh yeah. Oh, she's gonna wreck house. That Ulfbert looks freaking awesome. Oh, and we can appoint a captain. What does that do? <gasps> appoint captain for 50. All right, all right. Who do we want as our captain then? Gylar, the destroyer. You know what? I think lt has been pretty friggin' awesome. So, uh, we're gonna appoint her as the captain. Elte has been appointed captain by the troop. Sweet. All right, so we are all healed up. I sold uh, Elte's the gear that we took off of her, and we gained a couple crowns for it. I healed them up. We are ready to rock and roll, get back up into the mountains, and start handling these bounties. So we have the rap bounty, as well as the help requested. So that is 250 crowns between the two of them. That's what we're gonna be working towards because we really need the money. It's almost payday for these guys. And if I don't have the money, I risk them running away and ruining their happiness. So I will be right back as soon as I get back in the mountains and we are gonna start tackling these rats. Okay, we are nearing the mountains. Now, I remember there was an elite guy walking around down, uh, somewhere down below here. There he is. I don't think you can see him because my big mug is in the way, but he's down there still. I wouldn't mind trying to tackle him as well and see if we can't defeat him. Looks like we got a little band of uh, bandits coming our way. Already the fight begins and it is a lot of them. Three hoodlums and three poachers. All right, well, this is gonna be fun. I'm thinking we're gonna have to charge these guys. Okay, I changed my mind. Only because there's only two spots that I can put my guys up here and that would leave everyone over here uh, vulnerable to the archers as well as this little hoodlum. So everyone's starting on the right side and we are charging in. So first course of action is gonna be getting up close and personal with I guess uh, we'll do uh, this archer right here. Start the attack. Get him wrecked and ruined. And then uh, we're gonna get, ooh, I think what we'll do, hmm. We're gonna have Gylar, oh, we gotta end our turn, don't we? There we go. And then we're gonna have Gylar rush in here. Get right in there. 
and demolish these fools. There we go. We want to make sure this guy is done next turn. All right. That's going to be it. And then naturally, I think these two over here are going to be running towards uh, Elitate here. But she's got the shield, so she's got that extra armor buff. We'll see how she holds up. Okay, not bad. So Elitate held up pretty nicely. And because we were engaged with this poacher right here, he could only punch. So he did uh, Jack Diddley. This is perfect. I think we're going to work on getting this archer. Get him down here and start helping out with this hoodlum. So that Elitate can do some serious damage. Ah, oh, that was beautiful. Can we also do a recoil shot? We can. That is... We'll save that. We're going to need that. Yeah, we'll save that. Kick some ass, Gylar. Who's next? Well, where'd that come from? I heard the shot. I didn't see him. Because there are six of them. I think he's in the fog of war right here, so we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to get in there. Up close and personal. Get him out of the way. And press forward. There he is. Yep. Get up there. Encouragement! What do we need? Galvanized true. Oh, what is this? You gain one per ally in the area. <gasps> Ooh, that must be one of the. Uh, is that a captain ability? I think it is. Protection. Gains deflection. Yes. We are going to get that really quick. And uh, pushing forward. Oh, he's poisoned. We got to watch that. Oh, you pushed me back, you bastard. Get up here. She only did one damage. That's actually really good. Nice. Okay, who do we want to engage? Well, we have to engage him. Oh, 19 damage. Oh, she's wrecking. She's absolutely wrecking. I am so glad we went with that wolf bear combination. Or survive. Oh, you're going to be wrecked. Good night. And move up to who's next? When is this person? He's going to be next. I don't want him to get a shot off. So we are going to get Gylar to move up here. Engage this person. Maybe we can take him out. We didn't, but it's okay. It's okay. Targeting. He'll only be able to punch. And that's okay. End turn. I take the one damage. Who's next? Go for Gylar. I'll accept that. I will accept that. Down with him. I could run, but I don't need to. Well, I could. If I can run and re-engage him, when's his turn? Well, his turn's not for a while, so we're good. We are good. And I get to go again. This is actually going to work out well. Critical. Yes! Perfect. And can I throw my axe? I think I can. Throw the axe. There we go. He's down. Start making our way towards Elitade. The captain! All right. Come find this person again and end her. Get on this side so in case I don't get her this time, we can get the archer. Oh, you're done. Sweet. Is that all of them? That's all of them. Okay, so we are all healed up here. Going down this mighty hill to finally, this is the right area, right? Yes, it is. Finally take on these rats. We're going to see how just how good they are. Famous last words, right? They're, they're only rats. They're only rats. How bad can they be? I'm actually genuinely curious because this looks like a huge freaking thing. Oh my god, he looks like a big old bastard, doesn't he? Look at him. Your feet sink into some repulsive muck. The ground shudders. Exterminate the rat infestation, but reward 150 crowns. All right, let's get in there. Oh my gosh, look at this freaking big bastard. The brood mother. Plague rat, plague rat, plague rat. And what are these? Plague infected outgrowth. What the hell do they do? I have many questions. I thi I think the plan of action is we need to get rid of the Broodmother. She's got 55 health. But I don't know what she does, and I really, uh, I just don't want to find out. Okay, let's do this. Get in here. We're going to go right here, I think, is the best spot. We can already hit him. Or hit her. So that's good. 
We'll do that. And then can we hit three at the time? Yes, so that positioning worked out pretty well. We'll be able to hit all three at the same time. Plague infected wound. What the hell does that mean? Oh, freaking perfect. Hell yes. That's exactly what I wanted. I'll take it. Okay, we're going to do protection on her. Because these rats can hit hard. I don't want that. End her turn. Who's next? Okay, we're gonna get Valdrum in here, because it's 10 to 12. Get that stabbing action going. Nobody is engaged yet with Gylar, so we'll just save that. We could also throw our axe, but we don't need that. We'll save it. Okay, who's next? Plague Infected Wound, awesome. These damned rats. They are annoying. Okay, get pretty close here. 100%. There we go. That's what I like to see. And a recoil shot. Absolutely. We are absolutely doing that. Only 12 more health and she is done. Can I do anything else? I can't. No spears down here. It doesn't look like. Oh, be kind. Here we go. What does she do? What? Are you kidding me? Look how many spawned. Oh my god. And there's only four of us. Come on, kill the brood mother. Recoil shot, it's worth it. Yes! Now we gotta deal with... The brood mother is dead, the rats are fleeing in panic. Yes! Oh! Oh my gosh, that worked out in our favor so well. Nine influence. The only downside is we only killed one thing, right? Yeah, your companions killed one rat and destroyed zero plague-infested growths. So we didn't get much experience, but... You know, I'll take that in the end. Plague-infected wound. This unit must be healed before the next rest, otherwise they will be infected. What does that mean? I don't know if I want to find out. We have to make our way back to the city, then. We only just rested right before we went to the rats, so I think... Are those bandits? I think those are bandits. They sure are. As much as I want to attack them, I don't know... I don't think I want to find out what that plague-infected wound is, so... I'll be right back, and uh, we'll be collecting our bounty, the crowns for the rats, and then on to the next one. Alright, we are almost back at the camp, and I we haven't had to camp yet, so I think we're gonna make it just in time to pay off these, uh, or heal these guys. That was a pretty intense fight with, with the Broodmother, with the amount of health she had and how big that bastard was. I was getting worried. Woo! What do you guys think of the video so far? Hopefully you guys like it. If uh, you have enjoyed it, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. Comment down below, let me know that you liked it. And if you want to see more videos, like it. Hell yeah, 150 crowns. Like it, and many more coming out very soon. Please consider subscribing. Okay, what else have we got? So, Matthias Lund, wanted for strong a string of murders. Hmm. Vanquish Joanna squad. Might as well accept that. Where's this at? Perfect. Right in the area that we need to go. So we can go over there. Let's get to the alchemist really quick so we can heal. How much is she going to want? Cure for the plague. 59. Oh my gosh. And how many of those do we need? Plague. Plague. Oh man. That took all our crowns. Cure for the plague. All right. Well, we don't really have any choice, we need two. Use Cure for the Plague to heal the Plague Infected Wound. Yes, please. And... Yes, please. It's worth it, because I don't want to find out what happens if we, uh... If we didn't do that. It probably would have been much, much worse for us. Okay, so really quick, I just created this throwing knife. Which is awesome, and it also boosted our critical hit chance percentage by an additional 3%. So... I think we are good to go. We are going to head on out and start walking towards the next uh, target, which is going to be Johanna's squad, as well as help the rescued desperate refugees. So let me head on over there, and I will be right back. Okay, so we are here and nearing the area of this squad that we have to wipe out. I'm sure they're hiding in the woods. Yeah, we're pretty much right on top of them. So, is this them? Oh, we might get a surprise attack as we're charging them. Yes, it is. Your companions have just ambushed their targets and will have an advantage in the fight. Hell yes. So we got her plus three, I'm assuming, right? So only four is how it should work out, hopefully. Surprised. Yes. Perfect. We're just going to charge right in 
and start dishing out damage immediately. Weakening blow. Start targeting. I want to get rid of that weapon. I'm starting to not really like the whole target thing. It takes too long. I'd rather just start dishing out damage immediately so I can get my archer in and finish him off. Uh, ideally, that's that's how it would go, in my eyes. Henchmen! Vanquish thee! What else can I do? Nothing. Sweet. End the turn. He's going to come in and target, right? Sure is. Oh, Johanna, there she is. That's what we need to take out. Get you up here. Do I have full line of sight? I don't. So I don't want to take the shot. I do have 100% on her, though. So, let's attack this henchman. Push her back. Might even be able to push her back a little further. I can. And it's going to do more damage, so I'd rather just get that out of the way. Ooh, let's get behind uh, the raider here and start dishing out damage to this guy. Get his armor down. Backstab. Hell yes. She is now engaged. Guy needs to get down or we need to take an attack of opportunity, which we might take an attack of opportunity from the henchman here if we don't get to kill Elitade quickly. Oh no, we can make him, uh, we can make him leave. Aha! Perfect. Now Elitade will be able to move. It's gonna work out to our advantage. I like it. Alright, Elitade, finish off. You're not gonna finish off the henchman in this. Yeah, I figured you would. Okay, cool. Alright, move up to. I guess we'll move up to assist with this person as well. We're not gonna use protection just yet. Alright, cool. End it there. Yes, target me, you fool. Come on, is it Gylar's turn yet? There we go. Targeting again. See what I mean? Like that targeting thing. I'm not. I'm not a big fan of it. Not a big fan at all. All right, let's get close. Who is more important to take out? Let's say it's this person. Get her out of here. She's going after Elitade. Oh, she's a big hitter. Okay. Good to know. Come on, finish him off. Let's get behind El or Jonah here so we can maybe get some back shots, get the... Uh... Yeah, we can't do anything there. That's okay. Get going with this big bastard. There we go, weakening. That's damage, right? Damage reduced by 50% for three turns. That's really gonna help. Gonna help a lot, actually. Targeting. Start engaging here. And we'll also be able to do protection with Elitate, right? Encouragement. Ooh, gain protection for two rounds. That's pretty good, but I think we need deflection, more importantly, so she doesn't take too much more damage. And this turn. And we should be able to finish this guy, right? Hell yes. All right. Oh yeah, only two damage. I'll take that all day long. That was minus also the 50 damage that she was allowed to do. Big chomp. Hell yes. And finished. Good night. 28. I think that was a crit. Nice. 15 gold or crowns, some rope. All right, so that is that mission done. And we can start heading over to the help requested for the desperate refugees and get that one done. And they'll be swimming in crowns. I'm going to head over here and do a little bit of trading. Maybe we can sell some stuff. I think that's going to do it for this episode. Everybody, I can't thank you guys enough for all the continued support. All the watch hours, the subscribers, the comments, the thumbs ups, everything. You guys are amazing, beyond amazing. Brings a big smile to my face. I, I, I love it. So 
Until the next episode, please, if you guys like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like. And if you want to see more videos coming out really soon, please consider subscribing. I'm going to get back at it. And until next time, everybody, you guys take it easy. And I'll see you soon, okay?